Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. Most Perfect You by Jasmine Simon. Illustrations by Tamisha Anthony. Most Perfect You. Irie ran down the stairs wearing her winter hat, her hair covered by the pink wool. The warm July sun streamed through the windows of her house. Mama, would it be okay if I wore this hat today? You certainly could wear that hat, but why do you want to wear it? Irie sat on the bottom step and stared at her shoes. Well, I hate my hair. It's too poofy. When other girls play, their hair swings from side to side or bounces up and down. My hair doesn't do that. I want pretty hair like everyone else. But Irie, I didn't make you to be like everyone else. I made you to be you. When you were still in my belly, I had a conversation with God and shared everything I wanted in a child. I said that I wanted you to have my favorite color of skin, and then I was shown the most magnificent rainbow made of all the shades of every person in the entire world. I looked at all the colors a person could be until I found my favorite, the color of your skin. I said that I wanted you to have spectacular hair, and then I was shown all the hair in the entire world. I looked at all the hair a person could have until I found my favorite, your hair. I said that I wanted you to have sparkling eyes, and then I was shown all the eyes in the entire world. I looked at each pair until I found my favorite, your eyes. I said that I wanted you to have a kissable nose, and then I was shown all the noses in the entire world. I looked at all the different shapes and sizes of noses until I found my favorite, your nose. I said that I wanted you to have a joyous smile, and then I was shown all the smiles in the entire world. I looked at all of the bright smiles until I found my favorite. Your smile. I said that I wanted you to have other unique qualities too, and then I was shown all the freckles and dimples. I heard all the precious giggles and stutters. I saw all the long legs and short legs. There were big feet and little feet. All those extra things that make people unique. I picked my favorite of each. Finally, I said that I wanted you to have a big heart, but I didn't need to see anything. I simply asked that you be kind, kind to others and kind to yourself. When you were finally born, I looked at you and you were everything that I had asked for. And as you grew, you were not only the most perfect you, but you were kind too. So I'm sorry if you don't like your hair, Irie. Your hair and all the parts that make you you were specially chosen. You are all of my favorite things. Irie ran to the nearest mirror, took off her hat, and stared at herself. She studied her reflection, taking in every inch until a smile stretched across her face. What do you see, Irie? Mama asked. I see my smooth skin. I see my beautiful crown of hair. I see my bright eyes. I see my awesome nose. I see my happy smile. I see the most perfect me. 
Look at your smooth skin, your beautiful crown of hair, your bright eyes and happy smile. You are not only the most perfect you, but you are kind too. The End Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.